In the vast digital landscape of YouTube, where creativity and personality collide, one name stands out among the rest, Mr. Beast. 456 people survives the longest wins 456 grand. The first hey guys, it's Mr. Beast here. Thinking about that, like how there are channels out there that literally have 2 million subscribers, and I'm over here happy that I have 2 million views. Huh? Jimmy Donaldson, a young man with a passion for entertainment and a heart for giving, began his journey on YouTube in 2012. When I started, it was just for fun. I didn't think much of it, but I loved making videos and I loved making people smile. You no, know, I can finally say I have millions of views, you know, because two, yeah. And uh, you know, that, I'm happy about that, that's cool. And it's just, you know, it's crazy to compare to like people like PewDiePie who have 40 million subscribers, 20 times the subscribers I have views. If I probably didn't word that right. In the early days, Jimmy experimented with various content, from gaming to vlogs. But it wasn't until he found his niche that things truly began to take off. We were just brainstorming one day, trying to come up with something crazy to do. And that's when the idea hit me, counting to 100,000. Jimmy's boldness and creativity captured the attention of viewers worldwide. His willingness to push the boundaries and do the unthinkable set him apart in the crowded YouTube landscape. I put 100 people inside of a giant circle, and whoever leaves the circle last wins $500,000. With each challenge, Jimmy's audience grew, drawn to his authenticity and philanthropic spirit. But it wasn't just about the views or the subscribers for Jimmy. I've always believed that if you have the ability to help others, you should. Every dollar I've made, I just spent it the next month on content. And I just did that every single month and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and here we are. Since I was 13, there probably hasn't been a single hour that's gone by that I've been awake where I haven't thought about YouTube. Like I'm just focused on making the best videos possible, period. I don't care about making money. I don't care about time. I don't care about anything. I just want to make the best videos on the planet. And YouTube gave me the platform to do just that. But it's awesome to me because I can officially say I have millions of views on this channel and uh, that's that's hype, hashtag hype. But um, hmm, what was I thinking about? Um, I'm recording the video like this because I said um a lot. You're not supposed to say um as a YouTuber. As Mr. Beast's popularity soared, so did his impact. His videos weren't just entertaining. They were changing lives and inspiring others to do the same. In this video, we're curing a thousand people's blindness. <laughs> Most of us see the world like this. But here's the thing, 200 million people see the world like this. It's been an incredible ride so far. From making videos in my bedroom to traveling the world and making a difference, I wouldn't change a thing. Let's talk Mr. Beast Burger and where it is now. I opened up the world's first free restaurant. And if that wasn't enough, I also paid people to eat at my restaurant. We haven't even opened yet, and the police just told us they had to shut down a mile of traffic, and there's a thousand cars in line. Mr. Beast Burger was the brainchild of Jimmy Donaldson. With millions of followers who eagerly awaited his next charitable endeavor, Jimmy decided to venture into the world of food, but with a twist. The concept of Mr. Beast Burger was simple yet innovative. It wasn't just another fast food chain, instead it operated through a network of ghost kitchens, leveraging existing restaurant infrastructure to serve delectable burgers, fries, and shakes with Mr. Beast's unique touch. What set Mr. Beast Burger apart was its commitment to giving back. A portion of every sale went towards charitable causes, from feeding the hungry to supporting small businesses. With each bite, customers knew they were contributing to something greater than themselves. As word of mouth spread and social media buzzed with excitement, Mr. Beast Burger grew from a local sensation to a global phenomenon. People lined up for hours, eagerly waiting to taste the mouth-watering creations and be part of something meaningful. But Mr. Beast Burger wasn't just about the food. It was about the experiences it created. Let's talk Feastables. This is my old Feastables chocolate bar. And as you know, it tastes better than a Hershey's bar. The story of Mr. Beast Feastables began with Jimmy's desire to spread joy and kindness in the world, one meal at a time. With his charismatic personality and boundless energy, Jimmy embarked on a mission to create a unique dining experience that would leave a lasting impact on everyone it touched. 
But what truly set Mr. Beast Feastables apart was its commitment to giving back. For every meal purchased, a portion of the proceeds went towards supporting local charities and community initiatives. It wasn't just about serving delicious food. It was about making a difference in people's lives. Word of Mr. Beast, Feastables spread like wildfire, drawing crowds of hungry patrons eager to taste the magic for themselves. You can now find them at Walmart and other stores. The first one the best. Of course she picked Feastables. I'm gonna go with the first one. Yep. That has a really nice bite to it, and it's a little bit richer than the other ones. I'm not even surprised by what she's saying. Another one. I like that a lot. It's really good. <laughs> I would eat that every day. That is what an intelligent man looks like. So we're tasting him and tasted it before. It reminds me of like, it's not Hershey. Hershey's not that good. <laughs> Literally all the algorithm does is reflect what the people want. 2AT. And if you deny that, you just make terrible videos and are trying to find a scapegoat. We do our videos in other languages as well. If you Google it, it's like only whatever, less than 10% of the world speaks English. So 90% of the world mm. can't even enjoy your content. And when, and when I realized that, I was like, wait a minute, 90% <laughs> of my, the world can't even watch this stuff. Like we just started doing this like six months ago and it's crazy like how viral some of these videos wow, are going. With all the positivity and kindness from Mr. Beast, some were trying to cancel him for curing blindness. And here's why. Some argued that curing blindness was a futile endeavor, a waste of time and resources better spent elsewhere. Others accused Jimmy of seeking attention and fame at the expense of those he claimed to be helping. Caught in the crossfire of controversy, Jimmy found himself facing a wave of negativity unlike anything he had experienced before. The same people who once praised him as a hero now turned their backs on him casting doubt upon his intentions and casting aspersions upon his character. But Jimmy refused to be deterred. Despite the backlash and the criticism, he remained steadfast in his commitment to his cause, knowing deep down that the work he was doing was making a difference in the lives of countless individuals around the world. And so, with courage in his heart and determination in his soul, Jimmy continued to press forward, undeterred by the haters and the naysayers who sought to tear him down. For he knew that in the end, the only opinion that truly mattered was the one he held of himself, that of a man who dared to dream of a world where kindness reigned supreme and no one was left behind in the shadows. Some may like Mr. Beast, some may dislike him, some may try to cancel him, and some may support him. Based off everything he is doing for our world continuously, we can see why he is the fastest, most respected growing YouTuber out there. Have you tried Feastables? Have you tried a Mr. Beast burger? Let me know in the comments if you have and if you could like this video and consider subscribing, it would mean the world to me. Thank you, Mr. Beast, for all you do for us.